Congratulations on completing CS11. In this video, I'll talk a little bit about what your next steps might be. And I'd like to talk a little bit about our computer science program at Cabrillo College. First of all, we have two main programming tracks in C++ and Java. The C++ track consists of CS11 and then CS19, and the Java track consists of CS12J and then CS20J. And either 19 or 20J prepare you for our three core courses, which are CS21, CS23, and CS24. Both CS11 and 12J are first semester programming courses, and CS19 and 20J are second semester programming courses that build on the previous course. Now that you've completed CS11, you are prepared to go on and take CS19 if you want to continue with our computer science series. Uh, CS11 and 12J are offered many times a year, including uh, CS11 offered during the summer even. CS19 and 20J are offered uh, once per fall and spring semester, and their schedules um, alternate. They're regular 16-week courses, and um, they alternate between meeting once uh, a week in the evening and twice a week uh, during the day. Then our core courses are always meet only once per week in the evening. CS21 is algorithms and data structures and is the closest thing to a third semester of, of programming. CS23 is discrete math and is an analysis of uh, some of the mathematics that are specific to computer science. Both CS21 and CS23 are offered only during the spring. CS24 is elementary computer organization, a little bit of an overview of the role of the compiler and the operating system and hardware and hardware design and that's offered during the uh, fall only. So if you've completed 11 and you feel comfortable and ready to go on, then CS19 would be your next step. If you took 11 and don't feel comfortable and aren't ready to go on, then you could take a CS12J, which would give you a chance to work with some of those basic concepts again, variables, loops, uh, functions, uh, classes and objects, and so on. And even if your eventual goal was to take CS19, you could take a CS12J and then 20J and then 19. Normally I recommend that people take both 19 and 20J. Um, you wouldn't probably take both introductory courses. So for example, you might take 11, then 19, and then uh, 20J at some point. Or if you had begun in the Java track, 12J, 20J, and then 19 at some, some later point. We also have at least four programming electives that are listed in the CIS department. And so those are CIS 31, CIS 32, CIS 33, and CIS 34. Uh, CIS 34 is iOS and uh, Android programming. The Oh, the requirement for each of these classes is completion of either 11 or uh, 12J. Uh, CIS 34, uh, iOS and Android programming, is offered during the fall and spring semesters and is also a, is a regular 16-week course, uh, as are the rest of our class programs here, 16-week courses. Uh, CIS 32 is uh, Introduction to Internet Programming. And this is a regular 16-week course, um, but it's offered online. So if you only um, want, are interested in online courses, this is um, one of the courses that you might want to take. And uh, internet programming typically comes around every fall. CIS 33 is also a 16-week online course. And this is a class in... Uh, database-driven websites, so it works with tools like SQL and uh, PHP. And that's all, um, also uh, online. And then lastly, uh, CIS 31 is our uh, Perl programming class. This is a six-week uh, online class that's offered uh, only during the summer. So uh, if you're only interested in online courses, uh, or only have access to online courses, uh, we do have CIS 31, 32, and 33 that you can take. In order to go deeper into uh, computer science requires you to attend our program in person. If you are a computer science major or computer engineering or related major or you're just interested more in the field, 
I'm happy to meet with you at any time, either in person or electronically. Please follow up with me uh, through email. You can always check out my office hours on my website, stevehh.net, and come see me, and I'm happy to talk with you more about our program. Oh, one last thing I should mention is that the uh, math requirements for our program, CS11 and 12J, had the math requirement of 152, and that builds as you go. So the requirement for 19 or 20J is math 4, and then the prerequisite for our core courses is math 5A. So the idea is that you would be you know, working on your uh, math requirements as you go. One last comment. If you're coming out of the eight-week online CS11 session, if you want to move on, my number one suggestion is keep programming. In the weeks leading up to the next semester, continue to look through the chapter. The textbook that you've got um, is quite good. Do more sample problems. Maybe look into parts of the textbook that we didn't um, talk about in the class. And that will be your best way to stay current and fresh and ready to continue. If you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me, either in person or online. Thank you.